Kai in Stuttgart, Germany. I know Stuttgart. When I lived in Germany, uh, thanks to the U.S. government, <laughs> I worked at Robinson Barracks, I think was the name of it, and that was in Stuttgart where I was a DJ for AFN, the Armed Forces Network, and I lived in Ludwigsburg, which is a little town kind of kind of close to Stuttgart. A lot of fond memories there. Okay, and it says, oh, it, sorry about that. Kai says, I observed in your many videos that at any desk or workstation at PS Audio, hmm, kind of like this, we're in, in Terry's office right now, <clears throat> there's no power regenerator to be seen. It seems that all your products are being tested with regular current out of the wall socket. Do you work around with your products without any of these, or are they just for the end user at home? How do you justify your uh, commitment to power regeneration? Okay, well, no, we do not hear this lovely Sonos that Terry has for some background music. And anywhere you look around PS Audio, whether it's the electronic techs workbenches, there are no regenerators, unless we're fixing one or building one. We use regenerators in every single listening application. And we'll use regenerators in any kind of final testing that we do on the APs. We have these audio precision devices and you might see these around. And if you look carefully, you will see a regenerator. So that's the only time we use it when we're listening, when we are building a reference audio system or any kind of audio system, or if we're running it on the AP, we will certainly run it through a power plant AC regenerator. But there's no good reason to run it if we have a printer or a computer or one of these guys, it's not gonna do much. The power plant regenerators help with the video picture. I would never run my home theater system without the benefit of a power plant running the projector, because man, does that make a big difference. In fact, someone was asking me that the other day, how much of a difference it makes in a video screen. And I remember <clears throat> a story of uh, years ago, there's a, well, still is, but years ago, we went to a trade show called Cedia, which is the, the Custom Electronics Design Industry Association or something like that. And in Cedia, <clears throat> it's all the professional installers, all the guys who put the home theaters in. And we had a booth, and what we would do for our booth, we did this for about five years, we would go down to Best Buy and pick up a couple of brand new color televisions, identical models, LGs or whatever they were, Sony's, and we would set both of them up in the booth so that people could just walk up and look at them. We took a, <clears throat> a DVD player and we would play a DVD and Y off the connector so that the identical signal was there. And then we ran one of the televisions off of a power plant AC regenerator and we ran the other one right off the wall or whatever we had for our booth for the power. And the difference was stark. I mean, people would walk up and they would go, okay, what are, we, what are we selling here? Because there's quite a difference between the two. One guy got so irate that he did not believe that AC power could make any difference in the way that, that a television looked. And I, you know, usually like, you know, whatever. But he had to come in and he unplugged them, swapped them around, went over and it goes, well, got, I can't say what he said. You're right, and he, he was just flabbergasted that it made such a difference in the way it looks. So when you're wanting to improve the way something sounds, the way something looks, something to protect from the AC, an AC power generator is absolutely critical, one of our power plants. Uh, when you're sitting at your desk, I mean, the idea of having a, a regenerator in the room to make a better picture on your computer screen so you can see Word or Excel, eh, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> and that's why you don't see them here. So, all right, enough of that. Anyway, thanks for the question. Talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.